Welcome to Databricks. Let's get started on a Gen AI journey by using Genie to interact with our data. Now let's say we are working for a company called Harmony Hub, which is a music streaming service that specializes in personalized playlists for subscribers. We can ask Genie what our most streamed songs were from 2023, and Genie is going to think about it and pull up relevant data to show that it was blinding lights by the weekend. Next, we can go a step further and ask Genie who is Harmony Hub's top subscriber, which happens to be Jenny Gerber from San Francisco. We can even ask to see what her listening history is like. And instead of just viewing the date and minutes listened, we can visualize the data to see how streaming has increased over time. We can even see the hidden code that's used to generate this output. Now, while Genie is great for asking questions about the data, the Playground offers a deeper interaction and experimentation with models. In Playground, we first select our LLM and then select tools we need in order to create an agent that can perform tasks like creating a curated playlist for subscribers. I've already created two hosted functions that are registered in Unity Catalog, the first being Harmony Hub Song Reviews, which gives an agent access to a vector database of song feedback and reviews from subscribers. The second function gives the agent access to a specific subscriber's top songs to curate a playlist. In this case, top songs for Jenny. Now, if I ask who is Jenny's top artist, we can see that the most played song is Trustfall by Pink, played 35 times. We can use AI as a judge, which are assessments from Mosaic AI's agent evaluation framework, to verify that this information is safe and that the response is relevant. We can view the trace with MLflow's tracing to see the span steps within each trace that happens each time we invoke our LLM. Next, let's see what subscribers are saying about Pink's latest music. Remember, we stored all reviews from subscribers in a vector database, and now the agent is looking that up, invoking it, and using it to generate a response for our question. Based on the response, subscribers are saying that Pink's new music is receiving widespread praise for its blend of pop and emotional depth. Now it's time to make a personalized playlist. We know a lot about Jenny's preferences and favorite artists. We also know that the music she's been listening to is a blend of pop and emotional depth. So let's compare three LLMs side by side in our playground and see which one gives the best personalized playlist. I'm going to select a Llama model, a DBRX model, and a GPT-4 model, and then I'm going to ask them to recommend Jenny a playlist based on our favorite artist, Pink. Now, I actually want them to be all different artists and not just from Pink, so I'm going to select the Llama 3 model and the GPT-4 model in order to curate personalized playlists in production. And I'm going to select both of them because I want to A-B test them, and I can do so by first creating serverless endpoints. The first serving endpoint is the GPT-40 model, which I can enable AI gateway on. This is for payload logging, usage tracking, AI guardrails, and rate limiting. I can also serve the Llama 3 model in order to compare the performance, latency, and cost of both models in production. Now that AI Gateway is enabled, I'm going to give Databricks unified access, centralized governance, and full observability into their AI agent systems that they put into production. So we can go and track how those are doing once they're served. First, let's go into payload logging, which is the same thing as inference tracking. So we can actually see the inferences here for the requests and responses that we had when we interacted with the LLM in Playground. Next, we're looking at our average execution duration by model. So here it appears the Llama 3.2 model is operating at an overall lower latency than GPT-4 Omni. Enabling usage tracking is great for cost attribution and abuse detection. This is used by admins to track usage for all endpoints or even a single endpoint. You can also add in cost tables based on token count. Next, we can look at PII audit requests. Here we can see that we can detect instances of PII, which we get from classifying PII like emails and social security numbers from messages. We can first see PII count and then view the individual requests that the PII detected. Here in messages from the agent, we can see a social security number is being flagged. You can also add in tables for data quality and evaluation metrics. Now, remember when we curated that custom playlist for Jenny? Now that those versions are available, we can see which ones were received well by Jenny. So whether or not Jenny liked a song recommendation in order to evaluate how our agents are doing. For example, were the songs skipped, were they liked, were they added to other playlists, when were they replayed? Having metrics like this can help us optimize our agents in production. To summarize, building end-to-end -end agent systems in Databricks is easier than ever before. From data prep to production evaluations, all simultaneously govern in Unity Catalog. 
And these are just some of the Gen AI capabilities that are available on Databricks. So try out Gen AI on Databricks for yourself. We're excited to see what you build.